Today we're discussing contract law for paralegals, Chapter 8, specifically remedies for breach of traditional and e-contracts. Our objectives are to explain how complete performance discharges contractual duties and identify inferior performance and the material breach of contract. Performance and breach. You need to look to see if a contractual duty has not been discharged or excused. The contracting party owes an absolute duty or covenant to perform the duty. Breach of contract occurs when a contracting party fails to perform an absolute duty under a contract. There are three specific types of performance, complete performance, substantial performance, and inferior performance. With complete performance, strict performance occurs when a party tenders performance exactly as required by the contract, discharging their contractual obligations. Substantial performance, or minor breach, this occurs when the contracting party renders performance that slightly deviates from the contractual obligations. The non-breaching party may sue to recover damages for the cost of repairs if full payment has been made or deduct the cost of repairs from the total cost and remit the balance. Inferior performance is a material breach. This occurs when there has been an inferior performance. The non-breaching party may rescind the contract and seek restitution for any compensation paid under the contract or sue the breaching party, treating the contract as if it is still in effect and recover damages. Complete performance. Most contracts are discharged by strict performance. A fully performed contract is an executed contract. Note, tender of performance discharges contractual obligations. Suppose Ashley's Dress Shop, Inc. contracts to purchase dresses from a manufacturer for $25,000. Ashley has performed all of its obligations and tenders $25,000 to the manufacturer. If the manufacturer fails to deliver the dresses, Ashley can sue for breach. There's no complete performance. Substantial performance. This occurs when there's a minor breach of contract. Performance deviates slightly from complete performance. Then the non-breaching party may recover damages. The non-breaching party can sue by deducting the cost to repair the defect from the contract price and remit the balance to the breaching party or sue to recover the cost to repair the defect if the breaching party has already been paid. Example, suppose Donald Trump contracts with Big Apple Construction to have Big Apple Construction build a building for $50 million and it calls for three ply windows. Big Apple thinks it's substantial performance when it installs two ply. It would cost $300,000 to install the correct windows. If Big Apple agrees to replace the windows, the performance is elevated to complete performance and Trump must pay the full price. If Trump has to hire someone else to fix it, then he can deduct the cost of the repair from the contract price. Inferior performance is different. This is a material breach of contractual obligations. The non-breaching party may rescind the contract and seek restitution. The non-breaching party is excused from any further performance. An example would be a university contracts with a general contractor to build a new three-story building with classroom space for 1,000 students. The building can only support 500 when completed due to use of inferior materials. The defect cannot be repaired without a complete rebuild. 
the university can either rescind the contract or accept it. And deduct the damages caused by the defect. I've provided you with a case that reviews breach of contract with this Chodos versus West Publishing Company. Chodos was an attorney specializing in fiduciary duty law and sent a proposal to Bancroft Whitney Publishing suggesting a treatise on the subject. For three years, he worked diligently with the editors to produce the text. During this period, the publisher was bought out by West and he worked with the editors from West. He completed the manuscript and West suggested changes that were made. He was given a publication date which passed and when they sent him a communication that they had decided not to publish the book because it did not fit in, but that the manuscript was of high quality. Chodos sued, alleging breach of contract. The district court granted summary judgment for West and Chodos appealed. The issue is, did West breach the author agreement it had with Chodos? The decision was yes. And the reasoning is, after examining the author agreement, the court found that since West had admitted that the product was of high quality, the manuscript could not be rejected merely because of good faith commercial reason, even though the contract contained a release of form and contract. Summary types of performance. I've provided you with a table for you to look back at, which basically identifies the type of performance and the legal consequence. If you have complete performance, then the contract is discharged. If there's substantial performance or a minor breach, then the non-breaching party may recover damages caused by the breach. If there's inferior performance, which is a material breach, then the non-breaching party may either rescind the contract and recover restitution or affirm the contract and recover damages. This concludes our discussion of the types of performance.